Kelly Crafts at all. How y'all doing today? I'm doing just great. Today, I thought I'd jump on and toss out another little tutorial on a tablet notepad type thing. But we're going to do the pretty much the whole thing from scratch except for making our own pen. So it's really easy and it's pretty quick and the best part is it's pretty cheap. Now, what we're using, now this is the, the notepad, okay? And, and it's based, it's similar to the 3x3 three three little uh, post-it note one that I did. But this one's a little bit bigger, and this one will take a full-size pen. This is the RSV pens. You can get them at Walmart, Dollar Tree, even has them. Now, the other RSVP pens, I don't remember having this black thing in here. And I was trying to find an older one, but I don't seem to have one. But, I'm not, you know, it's it says RSVP right on the front here. And there, it's made by, I think, Pentel. You need to find them at Walmart. And, uh, you know, where they sell pens and pencils and stuff. And then you open this up, and then you have this your own little tablet. And we're going to make our own. And, uh... If you're wondering about the scrapbook paper, this is my very own. I designed my own scrapbook paper. I designed all my own little pictures. So, yeah, so you can't find it because it's my own. <laughs> but we have this little 3x5 tablet. And I use like half of the pack, so you have like 50 in there and then they just tear out real easy but yet I mean they're holding pretty good but they but it tears out pretty simple and then you know you come in here and do a little scribbles and doodahs and you know whatever I'm not an artist I'll tell you that so that's what we're going to make today so if you want to make that stick around and we're going to make it all right, first thing we're going to need, these are some blank index cards. These are pen and gear. These I get at Walmart. Don't ask me the price. If I find the price, I'll put it in, on the video. You know, see it. Now, there's a hundred of these. They're three by five, and they're just plain blank white. So, first off, you're going to need that. And... I need to open these. Trying to find a blade. Okay, so I'm gonna open these up, and then once you get these opened up, you don't have to be precise. Sit there and count out 50 if you don't want to. It's up to you. You can just kind of stack it up and kind of eyeball like where's half. And that looks to be about correct. So you'll get two, actually. I'm trying to keep them stacked. So that's where, if you have any kind of clips or something, that comes in real handy. You have these little ones from Dollar Tree. And we're going to put some clips on there. Now you might want to even, like if your clips are making indents into your tablet, part you might want to take the first one off after you get it together or put some paper you know something down underneath of it to keep it from marking your paper up so now that we've got that situated we're going to need a, a backing of some sort now I I'm using just some cereal board cereal you know box board and I cut it to you know, three by five and that's going to just go you know, right on the back of here. Now, if you want to cover this, you can. You know, with some either designer paper or um, if you want to, you know, do that, you can. Or just, you know, some white paper or don't cover it at all because this is going to stick to the inside. And nobody's going to be none the wiser. Here I covered it. But you don't have to cover it. You can leave it just plain like that. So let's get that on there. So you know, cut yourself a piece of cardboard. Or if you want chipboard, you can. You're just going to have to allot your you know, paper for chipboard. 
So I have my card on there. Nobody's going to see that because that's going to the back. The next thing I have is carpet tape. Now you can put your tablet together however you want. There's all kinds of tutorials on YouTube uh, where they use hot glue. Uh, you know, just your regular PVC glue, you know, your white glue. Um, you can do that. I just find better luck with some carpet tape. And I use this stuff and it's been, I mean, I bought this months ago. And it has lasted me for forever. Because I don't really use it on a whole lot of projects. But if it's something I really want sticky down, then I'll use it. Um, when you cut this, you need it to be, you know, three inches across. But it's going to be a little bit too wide. This will gum up your scissors in a heartbeat. I found it easy. If you save some pieces of your um, backing off of your vinyl or um, any kind of vinyl or stickers or something, if you save that non-stick slick surface, that will help. I tried doing it. You try it on parchment paper, but I didn't have any luck. It stuck to the parchment paper. And gummed it all and I made a mess. So, what I like to do is just lay this on this non stick piece of paper. I didn't get that straight at all. And I lay that on there and I'm gonna straighten that up just a tad. And then I like to take and cut it, you know, it's about a quarter inch. So you can either cut it in a quarter inch or I just cut mine in half and then wrap it over. I'm just cutting it off like so. And then you can get in here and get yourself a measurement. And then you'll have this, and you want to set that aside because we're going to decorate our cover first. So, now here is this paper, is what I, myself, I designed it. It's my own images and everything, I, it's from, all from scratch. So you're going to need a piece that's three inches. I think I'll use it for the outside. And use this for the cover. So you need a piece that's three inches. I'd say by six, six and a half, six, six and a quarter, somewhere in there. So I'm going on three. And I'm gonna do mine about I'll say six and let's see. Six and a half. So that's gonna leave you room to wrap it to the back to hold it all together so see what I mean I don't know if y'all can see that but I've got little Mars marks on there so I'm just gonna I'm just lining that up to the top there and I'm just gonna bend that over now see I said you can do six and a quarter all over <laughs> he's over there talking so this is where you might want to get, you know, a scrap piece. I'm just going to use that that I drew on. And hold it together like that. And then I'm just bending mine over. I'm just going to get your bone folder out and give it Give it a good, good smash there. And I'm just going to bend that backwards like so. I'm going to get that piece of carpet tape. And I'm just going to lay this as close to this edge as I can. So I can make sure I include all the papers. It's even good if you can... Get you a couple more clips. Maybe just hold that down like that, and that'll keep it nice and tight for you and level. 
I'm just going to put that tape right down there, covering that all up. And then I'm going to peel that backing off. And I see I have a little bit of overhang, but I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to roll it over. It gives you a little extra oomph. <laughs> And then I'm going to unclip that. And then I'm going to flip that over. I'm trying to keep my paper pad as level and even as I can. There we go. And then you can use that other piece if you want or just your, you know, double-sided tape. camera so it wants to act up. Doesn't want to act right. And most times I even just shoot a little hot glue back here. There's no point in wasting all your good stuff on it because they're probably going to throw it away once. Once they're done with it, they'll probably just pitch it. So now there you have your own little notebook that has tearaway pages. And you can decorate this up to your heart's content. Alright, so we now we are going to need uh, some cardstock of your choice. Alright, and I'm using it's the it's called Pen and Gear. Get it at Walmart. It's 110 pounds. It doesn't have to be. Do you do what you want to do with the your paper. <laughs> okay. Don't you don't have to follow my you know, exact guidelines. These are just inspirations, just something for you to follow. Okay, now, if you have this and you decide that you don't have the tape or whatever, you could just cut this cover and like this and then split these apart, you know, divide them up and hole punch them. And maybe you just put, you know, a uh, a hole punch. I have an example here. Just kind of punch a hole. I would go a little bit closer up to the top. I, I came down too far on this. This was just, you know, fooling around. And uh, I would go up higher. I'd probably go down maybe about a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch. I Or so, I'd probably go a quarter. Because when you open this, you're going to have to bend this backwards. And then you got to tear these out to use them or if you have really long extra long brads you could use those but there's another alternative for you and then they can just you know pull that out if they need to take it out so that's a, another way if you wanted to do that you could do that okay so now we're going to need your plain cardstock whatever cardstock you want to use like I said, I'm just using some white 110, good old Walmart pen and gear paper. I'm just trying to clean up some of this mess here. So we are going to need to cut this paper down to, let me get my notes out over here so I can see, nine and a quarter by five and three quarters. Usually I have everything all done and cut and scored, but I don't today. So, oh, there goes my husband's phone, I'm sure. His work calling. Every time he thinks he's going to get a day off, he don't get a day off. So, this is nine and a quarter. By five and three quarters. And now you'll need your scoreboard. And we're going to lay this in on the nine and a quarter inch side. And we are going to score at three and one eighth. I know it's an oddball number, but it's the only way it would work. Three and one eighth. Three and five eighths. And if you need to figure out where five eighths is, start at three and count each one of these little lines as an eighth. So count one, two, three, four, five. That will give you your three and five eighths. 
seven and one quarter. Seven and three quarters. Eight and a quarter. Oh, I think I missed. Yeah. Yeah. Eight and a quarter. And then eight and three quarter. Okay. And now I'm going to turn mine and rotate it one time to the five and three quarter inch side. Now I have my little extra marks towards the top. It doesn't matter really which way you go. And then I'm going to score here at a half of an inch. And that's it. Now, if you watched my 3x3 notepad, the post-it notepad, you kind of know where we're going with this. Now, me, I can't cut straight for a hill of beans, so I like to put mine in my paper trimmer. And I'm just going to cut up. You're going to cut up this the, the score line, that half-inch score line, up to that very first score line. Now mine, I can't tell exactly where it goes, but I can get close enough with my trimmer. Now I'm cutting up to that first score line. I'm going to turn this towards me, and then where you have those four score lines, that very first one, I'm just going to cut up it. It should look like this. Now you can go ahead and burnish those so that you can see them. And where you have that first square line there, that little tab sticking out, you'll have four little squares. You're just going to cut up to the first score line on those little squares. And that's that. And then you can fold and burnish. Your other lines. Like so. And then this is going to fold over and sit like this. So we need two. Now if you want to decorate everything while it's flat, you can. Okay guys, I'm tired. Sorry, there's probably a little cut right here. But I got it on a coughing fit. So whew, I'm trying to not be coughing all over. Now, um we're supposed to be getting some winter weather. And the closer it gets with rain or sleet or snow, my allergies will kick in. So, yeah. Plus, this is like, I don't know, like a day later <laughs> or two days later, I think. Because I got in the middle of it, started coughing and stuff, and then my husband needed me to do some things. and So, I set this aside and now I'm back to it. But anyhow, where we left off was we were getting going to... Uh, put this part here together. Now, like I said, we can decorate this all before if you want. It's up to you. Um, but, um, yeah, if you want to decorate it, I mean, it's going to be flat. But So, we have this, our, where we have those four little flaps, this is going to make our pen holder. So, you can use wet glue, you can use uh, double-sided tape. Whatever adhesive you'd like to use. I'm just going to run me a little bit of glue down that last you know, tab there. We have the four little rectangles. And what I like to do is I like to fold this one that I put the glue on. I like to fold it back. And then if you count one, if you're counting with that open, with your glue on it, count one. Two. Fold this down. It's actually three. You're gonna count one, two, three. You fold this down and go to that third score line. And you just lay this down. That glue tucked up underneath. 
it'll lay right where you need it instead of trying to roll it and glue it and whatnot. You can burnish that down. And then you just push it up. Make it square. And then we just make this like, you know, we do our, our normal little boxes. I like to fold my side flaps in first. And then tuck that bat, the back side in. And then the front. And then that way it makes it nice and flush on the front. Instead of doing it this way, then you have that cut edge. And if you need to trim your edges up, you know, on your box, by all means do so. And you don't have to put glue on every flap if you don't want to. I like to just for a little reinforcement. Set that down and then you can take the pen. Kind of push it down in there or if you have anything, you know, pencil push that down and if you have anything left in like I have a little lift right there I'm gonna put a little bit more glue right there so I don't want that pin to slide down in there and catch and tear it all right so we're done with that part now you can you know, check everything, make sure everything's fit good, make sure your tablet is on the inside of this score line and close to your pen holder. Now, I did leave it a little top and bottom, a uh, little border. And you can just kind of even that up, lay that down, and check and make sure you're fitting good. Mine is, so I'll lay it in there and then I'll kind of like push it back. And make sure it fits so everything's fitting nice and flush it looks pretty good so before I do all that though I'm gonna decorate mine and I have some pattern paper here so what do we need for pattern paper I have two pieces that are cut at two and seven eighths by five and I have one piece cut at three and a half by five this is the back and these are the two one for the inside for it and the outside front and then I have a strip, I have a couple of them laying over here. It's cut at 3 eighths by 5. It looks like I need to change the blade in my trimmer or clean my track or, or my trimmer or something. I'm getting a little fuzzy. There, I glue up that and put this down. And I'm leaving myself a little border all the way around. I probably could have trimmed that 5 up a little bit more. You know, you cut it however you want it to be. And then I'm going to come in here with my other two seven eighths by five. Yeah, I just got on my little drawing program the other one day and started fiddling around and I thought, I'm going to see if I can't make my own paper just for giggles. And I did. Now, if you want to put a piece over here, you can. You're not really going to see it. Because your tablet's going to go there. I'm going to have my back side. I said you could decorate this before you put it together. Maybe easier. Off. 
So we are supposed to be getting some winter weather. I think they're calling for Thursday for uh, ice. I'm just burnishing this to burnish that paper down. Uh, some ice and snow and sleet and yuck. And when I hear that stuff, I panic because back in 2009, we had the ice storm from all get out. And these little strips, I'm just going to, you can put one here if you'd like, and then you can put one on the back on the seam there. But yeah, um, we were without power for like two weeks. It was freezing. Thank God at that time I was working. And, uh, we were, I... At that point in time, I was doing some janitorial work at a steel mill. In the steel mill, I mean, all the hotels were full. You couldn't even find a hotel. So the uh, steel mill that I worked for generously opened up their office buildings and told people grab sleeping bags, blankets, whatnot, and get out there and stay at least there they had they still had power they were out far enough that they didn't get it as bad as our town did so they generously let everybody stay out there to um you know at least they had hot water you know hot water and uh you know power we could cook and they had a full kitchen in their uh, administrative building and in most of their buildings they had a uh well, some have full blown out kitchens and then other ones had, uh, you know, at least had microwaves and refrigerators, little break rooms. So I did my well, ex-husband now, but at the time, um, he was working for the schools and so he, um, Came out there with me. We stayed out there for a few days, and then a friend of ours, so a uh, friend of ours, graciously opened her home to us, <laughs> her and her husband, and said, "Come and stay with us," which was a little bit nicer. At least you know you, because there was just so many people. I mean, this was 2009, pre-COVID. You know, we didn't have nothing like that to worry about. So you can use just double-sided tape or whatever you want to use. Um, or if you want to use that carpet tape and put some on there, you can. Or glue. I'm going to see how much double-sided tape I have left on this roll. And just going to run... There we go. Run a few strips of tape there. Let's brush that down. So, yeah. So, when I hear sleet, snow, ice, I kind of get a little worked up. But, hubby has us all. Mike's got everything all winterized for us. And we have gas and we have a generator. So, if we lose power, we can use that. And we have a small gas fireplace here in my craft room so yeah we should be okay if we do lose power I hope not all right like I said I'm just gonna eyeball mine try to get that as even as I can just like so and then we have our pen if you want to you know, decorate the inside of your pen you can I kind of tend to go with whatever I had on my tablet so it's kind of contrasting a little bit and I here's how I do it I just I know I could, nobody's going to see past that black mark so I'll just do that, get my pencil, and then, you know, if you take this cap off, you can 
kind of see where you need to go. I'll just go to that ridge right there. So, and then right now, we have our Galentine swap going on. And I feel terrible because mine's going to be late. I'm going to just cut, I got like an inch and a quarter. But I'm in quarantine because my father-in-law contracted COVID. I kind of think my husband had it first. But he wasn't showing really the signs of COVID. I mean, he had more like cold, you know, just a cold. He didn't have a fever. He didn't have really anything like that. So we're not sure if my husband had it or not. I'm just take my bone folder and kind of break in those fibers down so this will roll. So, yeah. So my father-in-law got really sick. Not really, well, he got really sick, but it was a weird sick. And he got more weak than anything where he couldn't walk. We called the ambulance. They came and got him. Went to the emergency room. They tested him for COVID in the emergency room. His test came back negative. So they said it was probably just some kind of a virus that he had. Wasn't much they could do for him. Now those caps will pop off. And I just take mine. I use my ink pen part to get me started. <laughs> I'll just kind of roll it around it. It doesn't have to be, you know, perfect, perfect, because it's going to go inside that pen. You'll see the pretties, but. Yeah. But anyhow, he went to the ER, said it was negative. So he was home. You know, they sent him home. And I'm just holding and pinching and rolling here. So they sent him home. Follow, you know, the standards of the ER follow up with your family doctor in three to five days. So I called his physician and said, hey, went to the emergency room, da da da. And they're like, okay, you know, come in this daytime. Okay. So we did, and they didn't have any rapid tests and so now I'm just going to take that tube and work it down in that pen as best as you can if you have to twist it you can it'll go but um they didn't have any rapid tests and I just put the pen together they didn't have any more rapid tests for their office but they could do the send off so we did that and then, that was on a Friday, so we waited the weekend, they called Monday. And lo and behold, he had COVID. But it was the weirdest thing, because they gave him... I'm going to take my scissors and kind of like push that down. I have a little gap right there. And, um... So... I forgot, I lost my train of thought. I've been doing that here lately. I don't know what my deal is. But they didn't have any more rapids. And we ended up... I can't get that pushed down. But if I wasn't on video, I'd take more time to fiddle with it. Just push it down with scissors or something that you can. And then you're just going to put your pen in there like that. If you want to put more paper on the side, you can. And then you can just decorate it however you want. But, yeah, he went to the doctors. They called a few days later, said, yep, he's got COVID. And you have to quarantine. So, we were stuck to quarantine for 7 to 10 days. And um, he had, the, like, the weirdest COVID. That's where I was going with that. He had the weirdest COVID. And I just cut it. I had made some extra little ditties and printed and cut it and cut, printed and cut them out. I'm just going to pop a little pop dot on there. 
he had a, he, when he went to the ER, he had a low grade fever, but he was just so weak. He couldn't walk. He couldn't stand. He couldn't do anything. And we had, that's why we called the ambulance to come and get him because my husband was afraid he was going to drop him because he was just so weak. He was just dead weight. So, you know, they give him, they get in the emergency room. We're there two hours. They give him a thousand milligrams of Tylenol. Send him home. Within an hour, he was perfectly, you know, he felt a little cruddy, but his strength came back. He was fine. And the next day, it was just like nothing ever happened. So, I don't know. It was, it's strange. So, I don't know if this is that new type. strain of COVID or what it is, but I'm going to tell you, it was, it was weird. And I just made this little sweet sign. And, and you can, you know, decorate these up or down as much as you want, because like I said, these are, you know, I mean, I don't know if I said it in this video or the other video, but, you know, when they're done with the paper, they're probably just going to pop these off in the trash, so... We have gnats. I had some bananas. <laughs> I left them. Apparently, well, I mean, they were getting ripe. I didn't leave them. But I had, they were ripe, ripe. And I had uh, taken them and put them in a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer. And I make some banana bread. And I like this little one. I thought it would be cute to put right there. Ooh, I had a little too much glue. I'm going to just pop that there to kind of tie it all together. And that is it, guys. There's a little, little notebook for your Valentine or any time of the year. It doesn't have to just be Valentine's Day. It could be any day. Birthday. Uh, need a quick gift. There you go, pick up some index cards, make you a little tablet, and it's all handmade, you know, it's great. And, I mean, if you can find a 3x5 tablet, by all means, use those. Alright guys, that is it for me today, and uh, I have a couple more tutorials coming your way. So, um, alright guys, I am going to get out of here and go do a few things and i will see you guys in the next one remember take care stay safe remember i love each and every one of you and i thank you all so much thank you to all my new subscribers oh i have so many i think i have i think i got 18 or so or 14 14 18 i don't know i did the card collab and a card collab and that video will be coming out and so I gained a few from there and then there's others that just, you know, I don't know where they came from, but they came and I'm thankful for them as I am thankful for you as well. All right, guys. Bye-bye.